On this video, we're going to be learning about the Jedi who developed a split personality, one part defender of the peace and another a prolific serial killer who targeted female Twi'leks, unbeknownst to her brothers and sisters of the Jedi Order. Vidal Dinul was a human female Jedi Knight who served the Republic shortly before the Clone Wars, and she was assigned by the Council to protect people of interest around the galaxy on behalf of the Order and the Republic. Vidal eventually became enthralled by a freighter pilot known as Ash Brisco, and despite being against the Jedi Code, the two began a relationship in secret. Now, it didn't take long for Brisco to begin an affair with a Twi'lek woman, and Vidal walked in on the two of them. In her anger, Vidal killed both Brisco and his secret lover. Now, by committing this heinous act, something very interesting happened. Whether it was the trauma of realising what she'd done, or the realisation that she'd betrayed everything that her and the Jedi believed in, Vidal created another personality for herself. In her mind, a dark Jedi male by the name of Cardam had killed the two. Now, both these different personalities were seemingly unaware of one another. They existed as individuals inhabiting the one body. By the time the Clone Wars began, Vidal refused the rank of general and instead began a private mission to hunt down and kill Cardam, the dark Jedi who Shu believed had killed her lover. Unbeknownst to her, she was the perpetrator of this crime. It's important to note, Vidal didn't have complete control of the body anymore. She would randomly change personas, and when Cardam took over, his twisted desires would get the better of him, and he would butcher Twi'lek women across the galaxy. Meanwhile, when Vidal gained control of her body again, she would investigate these victims that she'd butchered only days ago. This trail that she'd set out for herself would eventually lead her to the world of Perilius, a slaver world regarded for its Twi'leks where Cardam had killed three more Twi'lek slaves. Eventually, she was confronted by a robed Jedi, who Vidal mistook for Cardam. She knew the killer was a Jedi, and in her mind, this must have been him. In truth, the Jedi had been sent by the Council to bring Vidal to justice, as they had learnt of her brutal acts. Now, the Jedi Knight quite easily defeated Vidal. He noted that her sword combat had deteriorated since her days at the temple. However, as she lay defenceless on the floor, the other personality, Cardam, emerged. As Cardam, the Jedi gained the use of the dark side of the Force, stopping a lightsaber in mid-air, and he used the ability of Force Lightning. As Cardam, Vidal killed the Jedi with his own lightsaber, cleaving him in two. When this was over, Vidal, now back to her normal self, blamed the death of the Jedi on Cardam, and vowed to stop him no matter what. Now eventually a bounty was placed on Cardam and Vidal, and she was captured by a Mandalorian bounty hunter named Veskit Bob. But it's unknown what happened to Vidal or Cardam, and it's not known how or why a Jedi and a Dark Jedi could ever manage to inhabit the same body. After all, as Cardam, Vidal could use the dark side, skills she never knew anything about. And we have no idea if Vidal ever actually came to terms with the fact that her and Cardam were one in the same. But what do you think about this split personality serial killer Vidal? And do you think this supports the Jedi's decision to ban love and relationships from the Order? After all, if it wasn't for Brisco, it would likely never have happened. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I really do hope that you enjoyed this little lore video. If so, please remember to like, share, and sub as it's really appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Law Guy and tick the bell for regular updates. But most importantly, I really do hope that you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.